Hello friends, if you are someone who hates resolving conflicts and dealing with code merges, whenever you are pushing your code to your GitHub repository using command line, then this video is for you. In this video, I'll tell you how you can use GitHub Desktop to ease all the process and in just a few clicks, you can simply, you know, resolve the conflicts, merge your code and just focus on your coding part. That's it. If you're interested in knowing how you can set up GitHub Desktop or what is GitHub Desktop, then I've already created one video that you should definitely check out. In that video, I'll explain how you can set up the basic GitHub Desktop application, how you can create repository using it, how you can start working with your GitHub repository using the GitHub Desktop tool. So in this video, I'll focus on how you can use this particular smart tool to resolve conflicts, to you know, deal with different code merges whenever you are ready to commit some code changes that you have done and if someone else has already made some code commits and you get into the merge issue, then GitHub Desktop tool will simplify your life that you cannot ever imagine. So let's get started. So as you can see on the screen, I already have created a basic GitHub repository in which you know I'll show you how you can use GitHub Desktop software to you know resolve conflicts. So there can be two types of basic conflicts. So one would be where you and your teammates are working on the same project, obviously, but you're working on different files. So those are the conflicts that are easier to handle and resolve because code changes have been made in separate files. Yes, you know, when you want to commit your own code and you forget to take the pull, then obviously, you know, you get the message that your branch is not updated and you need to update your branch first to push the code changes. The second one is a little tricky one. The second one is where you and your teammate are working on the same code file. And that's where, you know, you have to sometimes manually resolve the conflicts in the code and then only, you know, Git will allow you to commit those changes. So let's start with the first one, which is the easier problem, and then we'll go on to the second one. But you'll see that GitHub Desktop will make both of them so much easier. So I have already created a GitHub repository, as I've already mentioned. So this is a basic JavaScript games repository and I have created it using my account. As you can see in the contributor section, I also have another account, uh, Study to Write Fun, who has the access to this repository. So if I have to show you guys where that account is, so I've opened up a different browser where you guys can see that. So here is the, uh, the other account, which is uh, the Study to Write Fun. And it also has the access to this particular repository. Now I have set up GitHub desktop application already for the Abhishek account and uh, we will be using to see how we can do. So I've already done some of the commits and merges just to see how this works so that you know I'm able to create the video, right? So as you can see there are no changes right now and uh, my branch if I have to fetch, so this is the button that you can use to fetch the latest changes and the last fetch is, it is showing that it is fetched just now and my branch, my code local repository is up to date. Now let's make some code change using the study to write fun account. So this is this different account. So imagine that, you know, study to write fun is a different teammate of mine who is also working on the JavaScript games. So let's say that, you know, this guy created a new file or let's say this guy made some changes in this calculator.js file. So I just, you know, simply make some change directly from the GitHub dashboard. I'll add some, let's make this happen. So I'll make some simple commit change just to show you guys that, okay, you know, I have made some change. Okay. Added comment, nothing else. All right. So I commit the change as the change is committed, right? So now one of my teammate has made some change and I will not take the pull from GitHub desktop, but I'll start directly working on the code that's there. So this is, you know, this is an older version of this particular file. But for the first case, I will not be working on this particular file. I'll work on a different file. So that's the config that we'll handle first. So let's say I have this to-do list one and we still, I'm still working on these ones. So this is a separate thing uh, regarding JavaScript games that I'm creating. So let's say uh, we have added another feature, exit to exit the application. All right, I save it. And the moment I save it, uh, the GitHub desktop application will know that some change has been made. So what I do is let me go to GitHub desktop. Now this is GitHub desktop. Uh, if I go to changes, you'll see that, okay, in the to-do list.js, I've made some changes and it is showing me what changes I've made. So this is another cool thing about GitHub desktop that it shows you there and then, and that's the good thing about, you know, different uh, tools related to uh, source code management that you can see that you can visualize what changes you've made and it, it makes it so much easier to review sort of what are the code changes that you're making before you actually commit the boards to the 
repository. So this is the change that we have done. I'll add some message over here, update to do amp, added a simple comment. Okay, so I'll click commit to main. So now the code has already been committed and if I click on the push commit to change push origin, it will push my uh, code changes to the remote branch. And I can click here as well. So let's just push origin. Now, as you can see, it says desktop is unable to push commits to this branch because there are commits on the remote that are not present on your local branch. So as we already know that my partner, Strike and Fun, made some changes in the GitHub repository, but I didn't take pull before making my changes. Now I've already committed and I'll stuck with the conflict part. So what I'll do is uh, GitHub desktop, like I said, you know, it will make it super easier for you. You can just click on fetch and it will automatically fetch the changes that have been done. Now, as you can see over here, there's a pull request pending and one is the push request pending that we, you know, initiated. So I committed the changes and there was a push request that was created, but now a pull origin request is also there. So there are two requests at the same time. And I, all I have to do is I just have to click on this pull origin and GitHub desktop will automatically create another merge request and, you know, ask me to push my code changes. As you can see, you have two local commits now. So one is the commit that I made and the second one is the merge commit. And you can see two over here as well. I can either click here or click here. Let's me just click over here, push origin. And that's it, it's done. So no hassle of, you know, dealing with all those commands in the command line tool. Uh, all you have to do is, you know, click a few buttons and it will help you do that. So if I go into the history tab, now I'll see, okay, there was just one update, calculator.js, a change in the history section which was made by study tonight. Then I made some changes in the comment. This is there. And the third one is the merge. The GitHub desktop automatically created a merge commit as well. We just had to push it and everything is done. So this was the first type of merge conflicts that we might end up getting when the two individuals, two teammates are working on different files. Now let's see what happens when both of them are working on the same file because that is the most painful one. So what I do is let me just minimize it. Again, I'll open up the part where, you know, my teammate is there. So this is study tonight's account and I'll make some change in the file and I'll make the same changes from the Abhishek's account. So let's again go to the calculator.js, edit it. And let's just, you know, remove this particular comment. Okay. And I come at the changes, removing some comment. All right. And I come at the changes. Done. Now let's just minimize this, open up VS code. And what we'll do is we will also work on this particular file calculator.js. Remember someone else has already made the changes to this file and committed. I am behind. So what I'll do this now, this has already been removed by my teammate. Uh, I'll probably, you know, remove this console.log and save this. And as soon as I save this, GitHub desktop will find out that, okay, some changes have been made. So if I go here, now GitHub desktop is showing this with red background because this is the code line that has been removed, right? So what I do is again, update calculator.js, removed console log, and I commit. Now I have committed the changes, but my branch, my local repository is still behind. So as soon as I click on this push region, I'll get the message, okay, you are behind the main. I get the error message that, okay, you know, unable to push the commits because your branch, there's some commits on the remote that are not present on your local branch. So I say, okay, fetch. Now GitHub desktop will show you conflict errors. It is again showing with this. So I click on pull origin to pull the changes that were there uh, committed by my teammate. Now, if I try to click on push origin, okay, so it has already managed to you know, resolve the conflicts. That's also good. So now this is the second case because the changes were in different uh, lines. I think, you know, GitHub desktop automatically resolve those. So let's, you know, make uh, it a little difficult for GitHub desktop and, you know, make some changes on the same particular code line. So this is again, Stride Rights account. Let me edit it. Uh, let me just, you know, remove this particular line. Yeah and commit removing prompt commit changes done let me open up vs code and so this has been removed by my teammate but i will not remove it 
I'll rather you know change the username, uh, you know input, and I'll also add the console dot log input. All right. So this is what I do. Now this. Let's see, you know, if GitHub Desktop can fix this as well, merge this as well. So you can see these are the changes. Again, update calculator app and added some code changes. If you know it can merge this as well, then I think, you know, again, it's obvious that, you know, you should definitely use GitHub Desktop, but I think you know, it will show a conflict this time. But it also, you know, enables you to easily resolve those conflicts. And let's see. So if I pull the origin, I take the pull. So it says, okay, you know, there are some conflicts. As you can see, you know, you can visualize those conflicts as well. I can even open them in Visual Studio Code and, you know, do the changes. So as you can see, I'm seeing over here. So this was the code change done by my teammate, which is an incoming change, right? And this is the change that I'm doing right now. So what I can do is I can simply, you know, modify the code. So yes. If you have a big file, if you have a large uh, number of code lines, then you'd have to go through the changes and see them. But I think still it's easier. When I click on resolve in merge editor, I see the changes that were done. So this was the incoming change, which was removing the prompt. And this is the outgoing change. So this is the result, right? So this is the result I can, you know, I can remove the current or whatever I want to do, I can do. I do complete merge. I go back to my desktop, GitHub desktop. I say continue merge. And I say push origin. The force push will be like this, I'm sure. And you'll see that, okay, you know, the changes have been done. This has been done. The merge was successfully completed. We also took the pull from the teammates commit. So that's how simple, you know, resolving merge conflicts become when you are using GitHub desktop. Now there's so many more cool things that you can do using GitHub Desktop. And once you'll start using this, you'll realize that it makes life so much easier that you can just focus on your coding part and don't worry about, you know, uh, resolving these conflicts, pushing, taking pull, etc. All these stuff that, you know, comes in between a developer's life whenever you have to make some code changes. And even if you have to make some large code changes in multiple files, this will make it super easy because in the changes section, you all, you see all those files. And you can easily see what all changes you have made directly over here. And once you have reviewed all those changes, you can directly, you know, push the changes up on the remote repository. So that was it about GitHub Desktop, how you can use it to, you know, sort of resolve merges. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more such videos, then do let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Please, please do subscribe. And yeah, see you in the next video.